I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, where is God? God is me, and it is you. Even my grandma is God. Sure, she's old, she can barely get out of bed, but for now she's God too. When you're dead? That's when you're not God anymore. After that, you're just the deceased. Look for God within yourself while you still haven't died. Because once you're dead, it'll be too late. Call out to God so that he comes in to you. Hey, God, come into me. Oh, and I forgot to tell you there is no God for the average consumer. Average consumers and all kinds of housewives can forget about having any kind of connection to God. Hey, God. <laughs> Hey God, come into me. Hey God, come into me. Can you hear me? What do you want? Oh. Who are you? I'm not an average consumer and I'm no housewife. Guess that makes me God. They sit next to each other. Pain disappears. What's in her ass? <laughs> in her ass there is eternal darkness. <laughs> is it at least warm in there? <laughs> I think that it is dark in there, but really I don't think I like to cook and eat. <laughs> I think that God is blood. The normal, everyday kind of blood, the kind flowing through all of us in our veins. Jewish blood, Christian blood, Buddhist blood, there's all kinds of religions, but there's no one getting along without blood. So God is blood. One person's got A, positive God, another person's got B, negative God, and the third gets himself cut open, and all the God in them comes pouring out. God makes his way inside women's bellies without even asking for it. When the Virgin Mary was asleep, the Holy Spirit snuck on inside her and filled her up to the brim with it. Women are defenseless. Anyone at all can make their way inside them. Anyone from God to all kinds of mice and birds. That's what I thought until I got onto the path of spiritual enlightenment. And now my consciousness has been expanded and I see that God actually is woman. That to love a woman, to enter into her, is what it means to know God. So basically, God is me. And my belly is the world of transcendence. Between the words transcendence and Humpty, there is no punctuation. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great problem. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Everyone laughs because they were in on the joke. After that, everyone starts telling their fairy tale. Any fairy tale. Even one you invent. After all, the play takes place in your space, where you are. They are just telling this fairy tale to tell it. That's the only reason they're telling it. And that, because once the fairy tale is over, it's over. Good. Thank you.